If I don't make it past the damn rock pile in Dave the Diver today, I, I guess I just don't know what to tell you, right? I, I must do it. It's a it's an 100% guarantee. If I don't do it, I've failed as a human being. Let's go. I mean, there there is no time to waste. Just kidding. There's some time to waste. Um, no, there's not a lot of time to waste. I, we do have an upgrade available for the tranquilizer gun. It'll be enhanced. It's a little expensive, to be fair. You know what? I'll do it. Go ahead. I'm not watching. Oh, frick. It's a new one, dude. I do gotta watch it. He's putting new... new. What the... I'm confused. Oh, okay. he's testing it underwater. That's fair. Oh, he's he's hot. Oh, no. Duff turned hot. Okay. We're, have we equipped the Trank Dart? I guess we equipped the Trank Dart. I, I guess I'm okay with that, too. We could also... I mean, we could mess around with this. You know, Harpoon Gun? Send me. And then dive. Just go, okay? Just go. Here's the plan for the day. I need jellyfish. I'm I'm actually this is this is my gonna be my hottest take of the year. I'm not collecting anything except for Kajim. <laughs> Cause it's right here. Okay. I'm collecting Kajim and I'm collecting jellyfish. And I, I will not be taking any any other stuff. They're like, finally, he's not going to take any shells anymore. I'm not touching the shells. I, I just want jellyfish and Kajim. Okay. The Kajim part was, it had nothing to do with my plans coming down here. It was literally just, I saw it and, and now I'm like, it's good enough for me. But I am going to get jellyfish or I'm gonna die trying. And there's a good chance I die trying, to be fair. Uh, give me another scooter. You love to see it, okay. And then give me something better than a hush dart. I'm not picking up the seahorse, man. A flame harpoon tip. I think that that's actually quite good. Send me down. We, we are, we are so doing it, right? Maybe it's the sound. That's the sound of a baby humpback whale. Please take a look around. Is this way? Okay. Um, unexpected twist to the, the schedule. But I'm... <gasps> I saw this a long time ago. Crying sounds like it's coming from behind that pile of rocks. These stones will need to be removed to be entered. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I've never been more ready in my life. Send it. We're, we're pulling you out. Get ready for the quick time event. Bang, bang, bang. He's so good. I mean, he's actually so good. Humpback whale, leave. Get out. I gotta go in. Okay, fair enough. I'll go in. The Trank Dart's not a good weapon to have when you go into a cave like this. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you. But I am I am ready nonetheless. Is there a baby, baby whale in here? Mr. Baby Whale? This is gonna be damn cute. Yeah, he's pretty cute. There's a baby whale in here. Seems frightened. Should I go comfort it? You, you should go comfort it, Dave. Everybody loves overweight white males all right i'm comforting you that's a close-up that oh what what is this i'm gonna tell you i hated that <laughs> i actually i actually really hated that oh he's not too pleased about that he hit me with the the scared emoji man okay i'm gonna just keep petting you he he loves me he he loves when his his snoot is rubbed it's just weird to be honest. Oh, now he's happy. All right. Can you give me a charm for, for loving you? I think it's less scared now. Let's keep on petting it. Okay. You know what, Dave? Get a little aggressive with it. Let him know that you're, you're his boss. All right. <laughs> okay. And keep your hand away from the, the blowhole. Okay. Slow strokes. Slow strokes on the humpback whale. As long as it's not slow strokes on the spur whale, we're good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seems to have let its guard down. If we go to a brighter area, the mom should come, right? I need to be careful bringing it back up. D brother, you're not strapping a whale to your back. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll take you back up. That's fine. 20 bucks. I'm predicting the story right now. 20 bucks, the pirates are going to be up there. And they're going to try to poach the whale. Like, have I never been more right in my life than this moment right here? There's vicious barracuda in the way? Brother, come on. 
the vicious barracuda ain't crap. Get destroyed. Like the bar the barracuda, it doesn't even exist. I I I'm bad actually. A I, I I can't properly. I hit him with a damn baseball bat, man. All right, I'll I'll get the barracuda. It's fine. See, he's dead. DS DS. I can't hit the right keys for crap, man. I I actually I I'm starting to think that I'm stupid. SS. He's crazy. Everything looks safe now. All right. I'm so bad at the game. All right. 20 bucks. Pirates up here. I'm, I'm laying it on the table. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, we'll get rid of the damn lionfish. On the bright side, um, you ready for this one? <laughs> That's so unnecessary. That was so unnecessary. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm smacking, dude. Gonna babe roof some lionfish. Okay. Get, get destroyed. I'm just gonna, look, there's a lot of unrealistic things in this game, like, for instance, the entire civilization of sea people. Uh, but the most unrealistic thing in this game is thinking that this sucker can swing a baseball bat and kill a fish underwater. Like, come on. You ever tried to swing a baseball bat underwater before? No? Okay, yeah, same as the rest of the universe, but it ain't easy. Oh my god, there's a damn shark in the way? Okay. This'll be fine. I, I can I can manage this. Also, not to mention that the shark on fire is another There there's some red flags with that too. Alright. I'm I'm taking the damn shark meat though. Screw you. I I want it. Remember when I said I'm only getting jellyfish and then I filled my inventory full of shark meat and lionfish? Okay. We're we're having a good time. I will say that pretty much like the worst possible uh weapon to to be doing this this event with but that's that's all right that's more than all right all right i'm here mama where you at you know she coming you know big mama gonna have a, a good time here shortly phew that was dangerous wait a bit here and mom should come nope that's four sharks <laughs> okay Dude, you know the mom's about to, like, eat all four of the sharks. You ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She crazy? She she the damn best? Is DJ Khaled hopping in here? We the best! I'll never understand to this day. This is such a sidetrack conversation. I'll never understand how DJ Khaled ever had a career. And still has a career. The dude literally just, like, invades not good songs that already exist and just shouts random words during them. <laughs> do you know how easy it would be for me to do that, man? I can hop in and shout random words. Imagine, like, Eminem's in the middle of a verse. Can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. And right now, there's a steel knife in my windpipe. Dave the Diver, welcome back. Okay. Um, hmm, I see. I'm glad you took it to its mother. It wasn't easy getting it out. It got frightened so easily. Maybe it didn't like you. All right. <laughs> Don't spend all your time hunting. Try to be more helpful. Dude, I'm losing my mind. Just let me go to the sea people, okay? Just let me go to them. I'm tired of this. My afternoon dive, I gotta be, like, on point. That was very sweet, though. I enjoyed that, to be, to be honest. Did the mom die? No, it's just taking a, br a little breathe. That's all. A little breath of fresh air up on the surface. Look at that. And a rainbow in the sky. Yeah, it's the greatest day ever. Okay. We're, we're good. We're very good. Please take me back underwater. I'm ready to dive. Poseidon times one. What the hell is this, man? the hell's a Poseidon times one? I guarantee you somebody's about to come talk to me about Poseidon times one. Nope. Nobody is even going to remotely bring it up. That's fine. Um, I can upgrade something. My underwater rifle. I can turn it into a... I can't turn it into crap, dude. Okay. Why you tell me that I can upgrade you? I can't upgrade you. Cooksta? Don't care. Marinka? Probably a giant humpback whale. Nope. Not quite, huh? 
Fair enough. Oh, this is in the depths. How about now? Nope. Fair enough. Seahorses? What the hell, man? There's like 20 different seahorses. Okay. Um, take me back down. It's the afternoon dive. I've wasted uh, a lot of time. No, I saved a humpback whale. <laughs> okay, I didn't waste any time. But I'm about to collect. You, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Because you already know I'm going to end up not collecting a single one. And I'm going to look like an idiot. Just give me, give me the damn jellyfish. Give me the damn jellyfish and also some wood and shells. And I don't care about anything else. But I want... I don't want any fish, okay? What are you? A white-legged shrimp? Those are the only fish I care about. I'm not collecting any other fish. Just ones that I can hit space on to collect. And then jellyfish. And then I'm doing the damn mission that I, I need to do. It's getting insane. There's too much crap in the game. Okay, it's the bang stick. We love it. Give me the, the seahorse. It's a Pacific seahorse. I'm starting to realize that all of the seahorses just show up looking the same. So I should collect every single one of them. <laughs> or else we're going to have a really bad time. Gun enhancement kit? Nope. I will disassemble you. I'm I'm just trying to get the tranquilized jellyfish. Okay? Like, that's, that's the plan. Brother, I just don't want to fight you. I know that you're like kind of horny and you love when when humans are around. I just don't want to fight you. Just stay away. Plenty of times in the past, I'd be more than happy to to mess around, do a little, do a little uh, fight with you. Now is not the time. Got bigger fish to to fry up in a pan later today. Spiny seahorse. That sounds good to me. A little a little underwater scooter. It sounds fantastic. This should be limestone cave. Okay? And it is. There's jellyfish in here. There's also seahorses in here, which are now my new obsession. <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, would this guy stop taking seahorses every time he sees them? Look, it's probably better than than shells that I have about 100 of. I'm taking the sea grapes too, man. You can never have too many sea grapes. And I see my seahorses, not my seahorses, my, my jellyfish, and I'm, I've am i never been more ready. We're going to tranquilize them, put them to sleep, and then that's going to be that. Give me the seahorse, please. That's a giraffe. Underwater? A giraffe? How weird. No, it's, it's just a giraffe seahorse. Get sniped. After seven seconds, you fall asleep, and then I collect you. Okay. You're all tranquilized. Get collected. Get collected. Get collected. Get collected. We we refill ammo. We do this crap all over again. Look at this little bit of ammo. You grab it. I don't care about the shark. Okay? I don't care about the shark. Where where my jellyfish at? I will collect some bones. This is this is another you don't see them often enough that, that collecting a couple bones. There, there's value. Give me, give me the refresh on my oxygen. I've been, look, I've been a little, I've been a little, uh, anti-greedy with the oxygen. I'd rather have the tranquilizer gun. I'm going to be honest with you. Nope, that's a lie. I'd much rather have the net. I'm, I'm thinking about the, the red explodey jellyfish. A tranquilizer gun is not helping me again, against them. Because I'm just going to, like, the seven seconds, I'm going to die before that happens. So... We're, we're gonna do a fun thing called not do that. And instead, I'm just gonna leave, okay? Just gonna leave. Give me this, please. Thank you. Some more leg bones. I know they don't matter, but I'm, I'm taking them nonetheless. We can always go in and scrap the leg bones if we don't want them later. But I'm at 9.9 .9 out of 63. I think I got enough damn space, okay? Give me the, the Kalupionis. These guys, I'm still, like, to be honest with you, these Nautiluses are crazy for uh, food at the price that they are. Because they're down here and they're dead simple to collect. So in my eyes, pretty high value for us. Okay. This is where stuff starts to get real. So just keep it nice and real. A shock harpoon, their poison harpoon tip, I think that that's fine. Okay, I think that's fine. In a perfect world, 
Hey, I got an animal skull. That's very exciting. In a perfect world, I don't think I want the whip. In a perfect world, you're going to get a, a underwater scooter from one of these things. This is going to be a pickaxe, like, for sure. And just because I think that the amethyst is pretty, I'm going to take some. It's unnecessary. We don't need it. Uh, and I'm taking back my damn bang stick. That's a uh, shark. Have I killed you before? I think I've killed you before, but I would like to... I'd like to do it again, if possible. I think we can collect this shark, okay? We, we, we can always, we can always get rid of you if we don't, if we don't want you. You do take up a lot of space. Okay, that's, that's a lot of space that you took up. Get your net ready, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Okay, send it. Thank you. Send it. Thank you. And then send it. Thank you. I would really like now for you to provide me with some extra ammo. you love to see it. We're going to get rid of the shark meat, okay? I'm, I don't want to get too excited, but I'm, I'm probably going to get rid of the shark meat because I would much rather be carrying all of these jellyfish. It's a lot of them, okay? It's a lot of jellyfish. But it's gonna, it's gonna pay off in the long run. And the shark meat, we just don't care about. So this white-legged shrimp can also go. And so can these shells, okay? The rest of this I'm keeping. These seahorses I'm, I'm keeping. Look, I don't need all the seahorses. But I am going to drop... I'm gonna drop the ore too. We, we really don't need the ore. The shark meat has to go. And I'm, I'm not... I, I have no issues with what i've decided to do okay you you may be like tyler that seems like such a bad play it was not a bad play we we need to prepare for the insane jellyfish arena that we're we're gearing up for it's a poison tip two we don't care we disassemble and we leave got got no reason to to have you okay Theoretically, somewhere down here is what we need. We're, we're getting close. We're getting close. This seems like a very valid entrance to the next location that we need to go. I will say, you gotta do this, swap, hit him. Actually so cracked, it's insane. So, so cracked. Okay, and somehow you're, you're not overweight that seems like a, a damn miracle to me what are you i i don't believe i've ever seen you before what, what are you some kind of some kind of invasive species a cookie cutter shark gonna tell you just just immediately dump me right on in the cookie cutter shark must go <laughs> i don't i don't have the space for you five kilograms don't got the space Take me down. What the hell is this, man? That's a new ore that I don't have. I'm gonna get a pickaxe out of this chest. It's, it's just the, the laws of this game. Thank you. I gotta at least see what the hell this ore is. What are you? Yeah, that's a diamond, man. Okay, diamond? I'm at the weight, but I have to take some diamond back. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a little freak. You gotta take diamond back if you see it. Not a diamondback is in a, a rattlesnake, but you get what I'm saying. What do you got? You got a snake whip. Don't care. Kinda care, actually, but don't care enough. Yeah, I'm gonna take the snake whip. Because uh, we, we do need some form of, of melee. Okay, here's these suckers. So theoretically... I gotta get up there. So I, I just came from there. <laughs> where 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 are we going, man? It's up here? It's, it's somewhere up here. Okay. I've already been through here. Did I did I just miss the location that I was supposed to, to mess around with? That's a seahorse? There were freaking two of them, man. 
Give me the damn seahorse. Okay. It's a new one, so I'm I'm fine doing it. Get rid of a giraffe seahorse, because you have multiple of those. Giraffe seahorse, gotta go. Okay. Um We're gonna go up and around. And then down on this side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, this is not correct either. Because this is now the, the cave of the octopus. And this opens back up into... Oh, no, maybe this is correct. This might be correct. Cat food? I'm going to tell you. I actually just don't care. What What's down here? That opens up into here. And this is just this again. What do I need the break exactly? Is it it did they did they swap sides on me? I'm so confused. What what's your guys' problem? Get the path open already, human? <laughs> it's gotta be on the right side this time. They they swapped the sides on me. That's okay. You know what? That's okay. Fill up on oxygen because you know you're about to have the, the time of your life over here with jellyfish. And we're exactly at 63, which is completely okay. All right, that's completely okay. Grab this. Rubber chicken is... I don't know. It's fine, I guess. This is going to be jellyfish central, I think. You know what? I would love to have a different gun. That's a tranquilizer tip, to be honest with you. I think that that's amazing. I think that is absolutely incredible. We we are fine. We're a little overweight. Drop two wood to stay at adequate... Adequate ability. All right. This is, this is very intense. Okay, here we go. Get, get netted. Now, I am not going to take any of these because I cannot afford to be overweight right now. We we have to just go. And then you gotta save your nets for these guys. Because they're the big problem. I think that this was a very, very successful journey. That's going to weigh me down. By by so tiny. But still weigh me down. Here's the steak. Okay. You love to see it. You love to see it. Pull them. Okay. We, we pull it out. I get ready for the quick time event. Maybe the greatest player to ever play Dave the Diver. I'm ready to visit my, my sea civilization. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I've never been more ready than this moment right here. Please let me in. Did I kill them with the rocks? That would be massively unfortunate. I didn't. Okay, while well, human, good. We have a path. You're more useful than you look. I can leave now, can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Rammel? I have a request for you, so I would like you to come to the village. There's a reason I came all the way up to the human sea. I have a request. Okay. I'm going to drop some red starfish to be quite under Send me in. This is a very, very pivotal part of the game. I think this will be the end of chapter two, is my bet. It's a very, very important discovery. We are going into the Sea People Civilization. And who knows what the hell happens from here. It's all gone. I'm getting real spooky vibes. Okay. That's an earthquake. Uh... Okay, something just moved past. Human, go on ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark, I feel like there might be something dangerous here. Brother, if I die in a boss battle and I lose all these jellyfish, I am going to rage, okay? I'm gonna be so angry. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't do it. There's gotta be a different weapon around here. I'm going in with a damn net into a boss fight. Don't, don't do it. There's nothing here, man. There ain't nothing here. Alright, just send it. Just send it. I'm very good at the game, so it'll be fine. I'm at, I'm at 62.9 out of 63 on my weight. It'll be fine. 
Just don't think about it too much and everything will be fine. Okay, I'm going in. Dangerous creatures presence. You don't, you, look, you don't wake up in the morning and go, yeah, I'm going to back away from a fight, okay? You, you wake up and you go, I'm going to fight. I'm ready. What is this? Why is there debris, like, so deep? <laughs> okay. Inspect the village access road. Hey, buddy. Nice to see you, Mr. Uh, Greentail. You're, you're a little large, to be fair. Oh, no, those vibrations again? Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? I'm picking up good vibrations. I'm diving in. Blue hole nation. Hello. Nice to meet you. Be a little angry. Wolf eel. Okay. What is that? There are wolf eels this big. Ugh, I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. Okay. Get stabbed. Anybody got good ideas? Because I got nothing. <laughs> Ah, a weapon. Okay. This part, very valuable. I'm also going to... Oh, that's actually legit. Hello. Okay. I respect that, to be honest. You coming back, brother? You're over here this time. How oh, very exciting. Here I was, thinking you were uh, on another realm. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> it took two sniper rifle shots? Come on. Put me in wave two. We all know there's a wave two. How can a wolf field be so big? Oh, just kidding. That was the most anticlimactic boss fight ever. I was about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. You're stronger than I expected. Yeah, I've got a sniper rifle. Now you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead. Uh, I'm gonna collect an eel first and weigh myself down like a lot, okay? It's, it's a frick ton of stuff. But it's fine. Investigate the sea people gate. Can I? Is there still some ammo over here? Not feeling it? Alright, that's fine. I'll just go this way. That was such an anticlimactic boss fight. But that's that's fine. Sometimes I'd rather an anticlimactic boss fight than one that uh, whoops my ass repeatedly. So, I'm, I'm chill with it. Please let me in. We're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Rama, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back? Oh, just kidding, I have it in my bag. Okay. Insert the key, get back to the village. Key goes in. Fantastic. Door opens. Human gets let in. See people murder me. It's like that uh, comic with Gru. I just said comic for a meme. What year is it? <laughs> like that meme with Gru? Where he's plotting out the plan. You know what meme I'm talking about. Holy frick, dude. We're here. The Sea People Village. It's crazy. The vibes are immaculate. Wow, so this is... That's right, this is where the Sea People live. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. That humans haven't invaded. They're gonna kill me. Wait, how did a human get here? Ramo and Suam, were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Kind of hard to explain. Allow me, I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it, just take me to my father. It'll be faster to explain things to him. Okay. I won't shoot you with a sniper rifle, I promise. This this is a guaranteed promise. We going to your dad now? Pop, papa, bi big puppy see people? Tenzin's house. Oh no, dude, he's got a handlebar mustache. Whatever are we gonna do? Okay. Oh, he's so happy. Dude, imagine if he hugged Dave first. Alright. He's he's so in love. Oh my goodness, Ramo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy? Your daddy's worried out of his wits? Are you hurt? Did the humans do something new? Who is this? Thought you brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. That's so that's so mean, dude. Everybody's so mean to Dave. It's a great running joke, but they are mean. What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. Strange things have been happening. The tremors, the ice melting. Of course, Ramo, I've been looking into the cause. It's been two years! You know our technology has its limits. The ancient texts have all been lost. We need to figure out new methods. We can't keep waiting. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. Not the humans. They can't be trusted. Dirtied our home, even hunted our kind. Wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... With the likes of Dave the Diver. Oh, the village is gonna die, though. 
So, seems like this is actually probably going to be kind of bad. Another huge tremor? Something really bad will happen. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, they've helped me out. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad. I mean, well... Even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans. If this man can gain the villagers' trust, I'll consider your suggestion. How does he go about winning that? How about asking around and see what they need? Oh my god. Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. I didn't even agree yet. Okay. They're gonna make a, a new, like, little portal that I can use to get down here. I guarantee you. Chapter 3, a request from the sea people. Since you helped my daughter, Ramel, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this is the mirror of Erised. Once installed, it will let you instantly travel to this village. Oh, baby. Okay. A few of their relics. Installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village. 20 bucks you put it in the Sea People record chamber. No, they're probably not, actually. It'll recognize your face. Operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun. You can only use it during the day. I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find villagers. I have to go back to the boat with the mirror for now. Okay, Dave, this has been a day and a half for you, brother. So what reward do you get? Not like a, a glass of whiskey or something and sitting by the water. Instead, you gotta go work a, a five-hour shift at Bacho Sushi? Okay. It's all good. It's all good. We got a bunch of roe. We got tons of jellyfish, which is a, a huge... That's a huge play for us. I'll install the Sea People mirror on the boat. <laughs> Okay, yeah, nobody nobody will steal that for sure. Dumbass. Alright. Uh, nobody's here. Looks like I arrived too late. I should do a little cleanup. Dude, what the hell? Oh, she about to be pissed, man. Maybe we got shut down by the FDA. Miss Yashi, what are you doing here? Oh, my work ended. I was passing by. I saw the lights were on. Bancho seems to have gone home. He looked a bit tired. I'm worried he might fall ill. Are they gonna kill Bancho? Oh, my God. Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Come to think of it, I heard he once gave up cooking because of a certain incident. Back then, I thought he was gone for good. Nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present. Just in case it's still a sore spot. I'm thirsty. Can you first give me a glass of beer? Sure. How about you just get up and get it yourself, freak? <laughs> Fine, I'll pour you a beer. 20% foam? That's about 20%, man. That's, that's a perfect beer. That's a perfect beer. Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. Especially nice to have a view of the sea while I drink. I'll tell you a bit about Bancho, why he quit cooking. It was 12 years ago. About to get the cutscene going. Absolutely. Show me the lore. I care so much, as all of you know. This is Dugong Hotel. I worked here for 12 years. Five-star hotel with both tradition. No, she worked here 12 years ago. Sorry, I can't read. Looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, quality and food of service has new newly improved. Yashi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? A troublesome customer left a reservation. Do you know the actress Lois Crawford? Uh, okay, sure. Dugong Hotel, past many nobles stayed here, sure. Manager spent his entire life living embodiment. Knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class, many VIPs. Lois Crawford, don't get horny, Chet. Leading actress with a long career. Role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor. Appears to have hit a slump. Lois can be very picky, but we are a high quality hotel. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes. You haven't heard the rumors, have you? Take a look at this. This is, she's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. Blurb she published in a travel magazine bashing the hotel she stayed at. Gloria hotels are the best of the best and she wrote a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yashi? We accept the reservation? In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. But we need to think of ways to satisfy her. Do you have ideas? You ask Bacho. Okay, did she reserve a suite? Yes, we'll clean rooms and services that match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP drinks and amenities and place them in the room and then Bancho. bring up Bancho about the meals we can offer her the buffet for breakfast but we'll need ready at dinner course uh french we have fantastic french food i'm so sorry pride and joy of dugong a michelin starred head chef but our head chef is in france the sous chef has taken his place and he cooks wonderfully is Bancho? 
Japanese. Never been the strong suit. But we, after we hired Boncho, we've grown. Oh baby, he might be our dark horse. Japanese, our best choice. Boncho's skill is indisputable, but our great drawback is he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. Oh, not my Boncho. It's only like literally how he acts all the time. <laughs> We're dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford. It's a good point. I think we best try and persuade Boncho. I'm in a damn visual novel. <laughs> All right, Boncho, you're so young, brother. Still wearing sunglasses inside, as I can see. And you can't. Boncho, are you here? Miss Yashi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here, that's good. Come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want. Ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Boncho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. Okay. <laughs> Never stayed in one place for too long. He he would poach sushi restaurants in Japan. Moved on each time after learning enough. Okay, fair. Always could be found in the kitchen researching food. He hated to be interrupted. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. I heard you never skip research and practice, Boncho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. Would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? That's right, important guests who will increase our reputation, or rather, might send it plummeting to the ground. Lois Crawford, infamously hard to please, a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined Dugong. Our Japanese food team has never been strong, received much attention in a short span of time. We can't deny your contribution has great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatment. Boncho has to please Lois Crawford, as Dugong's hotel lies in the balance. What do you say? Cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has been the goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. Simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. It's not going to be okay, to be fair. I'd like to offer input on the method of servicing our guests. Ah, uh, yes, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi, when it comes to servicing food. Let's do a sushi course. Various kinds of sushi in a certain order, few side dishes. Allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many fish. I'm familiar, don't you think it'd be too ordinary? If we choose to go like this, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel, olive flounder. Olive flounder being in season, that won't be very impressive, however. I think a course would be better than a single dish. It means it'd probably be better to employ a western course format. Though it'll be a bit different from the traditional method, I could add soup and hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert. Not bad, what will you make for each course? The soup. Oh my god, dude. It's, it's too much. It's too much lore. Yes, I think that'll be fine up to the sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp would be logical, but it's difficult to create impact. How does something like this sound? Shark. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark? Can sharks be eaten? A very tasty fish. This is the time of year when they grow fat, boosting the flavor. Meat in the cheeks. Particularly chewy. Okay, shark is too exotic. Couldn't we use something more widely consumed? No. Good food will impress anyone. Okay, very good, I'll give it some thought. I can't help but think it's not that great of an idea, Boncho. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugong Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. Hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience. Nothing can be allowed to mar that. There's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking a bite it's one of the greatest foods. She's a picky person though, what a pity. I understand, I'll go with shrimp tempura, though it can't compare to shark. He's gonna make the shark, man. We know how this ends. We, we know the future of the story. The rare double take. The visual novel continues. Dave the Diver, more like Boncho the restaurant sh head chef. <laughs> anyway. This way, Miss Crawford, thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, younger than I expected. Hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Tight-lipped, are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss of words. He seems a little tense. Be looking forward to the food. Okay, like the carpet and the paintings on the wall. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a kish quality to them I don't like. To think there's no gym, I need to exercise daily. Just go for a run, you freak. Okay. Bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. What's for dinner? Japanese course meal, here's the course. Okay, first dishes are uh, steam snapper and yam soup. 
grilled snapper and roe, which has then was then gar steamed garnished with ground yam. Okay, that's a Japanese soup, bland flavor com coupled with a spicy scent. That is the flavor of the shichimi. Tiny bit of flavoring provided by a condiment made from seven different spices. The next dish, a few minutes later. <laughs> okay. Tempura and dessert are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me shrimp. Sort that's commonly served with rice. The dessert, no doubt the usual fruit. Okay. How do you like it? Are you happy with their Japanese food? It's as good as I expected it to be. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then. But why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's average? Snapper soup or something was interesting, but that's it. Just a fishy soup and a spicy aftertaste. Sticky yam on top. I didn't like the texture. Seems Japanese food isn't at all to your liking. Okay. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. Hotel doesn't have a gym, so I suppose food should be healthy. Oh, Boncho. Boncho, my guy. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the master chef who works here. Not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. Do you have something to tell me? Apparently, you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else. No, no, Boncho. Miss Lois here. It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide the food that satisfies you. Why don't you give me a chance? Oh gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you experience today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can objectively be called good. So you're saying you have something that will satisfy me? Remember, my time is valuable. Your food better be amazing. All done. This is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god. This is, you fried the whole head? <laughs> An amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. Chose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. High quality dish made using the best possible ingredient. Get that out of my sight. Take a bite. I'm not happy. It's all my fault. Pancho, Yoshi, you apologize as well. Okay. Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to try it, Miss Lois? I find this unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank? Okay. You pay for treating me this way? Don't think I'll let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. And Boncho was taken out back and shot. Alright. It's all good. It's like fine. Boncho, he quit his job and then he left. It's my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods he researched. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief. I suppose it was the stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel like something's changed and I like it. I think you're good for him. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. What a great day. I mean, that was a lot of stuff that happened <laughs> in, in this episode. And somehow it's like not even the longest episode. I feel like I've been playing this for like four years. Hello, Bacon. He's going to freak out about the sea people. You weren't around yesterday, so I was worried. Couldn't get in touch with you either. Oh, uh, I was at the sea people village. You what? Well, you see. Uh, an incredible explanation. I love pixel art with no dialogue. I'm sure that uh, Bacon's getting the, the full, full Dave story right now. Dude, we're, we're like T-minus six years away from the Dave the Diver movie. I see I envy you, I do, what a lucky experience. And Tom Holland's gonna be <laughs> Dave the Diver. Not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk to the residents? Only one person can use the sea people mirror. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out Cobra Shop. Okay. This is all good. We, we got tons of, tons of good plans for the future. See people mirror new content. Use the mirror to immediately travel. That's good. All right, we're, we'll have to do like one dive in normal land. One dive to see people village is, is how we'll do it. Because I still got to get some damn jellyfish in the next day to prepare for, for the restaurant. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed as always, like on the video, much appreciate. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.